What's up guys and I'm here with another Mexican review for you today. I am of course the Mexican and today we will be reviewing uh, Capricho, Capricho, Caprico uh, grilled chicken. Um, I was going up the shop and I saw a new chicken place to open up down the road and I thought why not give it a go? Why not give it a go? I do believe it's a chain and um, yeah but I haven't heard of it before so I thought it'd be interesting to review. Now I did bother to grab the menu. Um, it's somewhere on Glenfer Road. Um, yeah like I said I think it's a chain and I also elected before we start to um, go with the what do they call it the habanero medium sauce in my wrap. I got the Brazilian burrito. It sounds quite nice. I'll tell you more about it when we get into the actual review. But um, yeah, I got the habanero medium because I was going to go with the habanero barbecue originally. And then the guy pulled me aside and says, oh, actually, hang on, that's really hot. And I'm like, I'm not a little bitch, but um, maybe maybe he just thought because I'm white that uh, I, can't, I can't handle the heat. I think ice cubes are too spicy. But um, I just I eventually asked, uh, hey, is it hotter than habanero medium? He's like, oh, yeah, it's way hotter. And I'm like, oh, I do kind of want to enjoy the food. And hopefully, we'll find out in a minute. Um, so I elected for the habanero medium. Um, anyway, let's go on. I also got the spicy chips with it. Um, so what I got was, okay, well, it looks like the chips don't actually... Oh, yes, they do. They do come in a pack, but they, they stained the uh, napkin quite a bit. So that's, that's near useless. Um, yeah, the chips are pretty well overflowing. I... Um, Grab them out. You can see it's a decent portion. Um, actually, it looks kind of crappy, but a lot of chips went over the side in the bag, which is pretty good. Um, got the burrito, as I said earlier, and a Coke for $16.90. Um, not a whole lot of food for $16.90, but it's comparable with other chicken places, for instance, Nando's and um, Oporto. Oporto. But let's see how this place stacks up. Sorry, a bit thirsty. I, I walked walked here and it's a bit hot outside. Now let's get into the um, burrito. You always start with the burrito first. So I'm wrapping it. Decent job on the wrapping actually as well. Like, it's uh, pretty pretty secure. So I was swinging the bag around uh, pretty wildly actually on the way here. Um, you've got some ingredients spilling out. Probably should grab a plate but I've got my napkin so we'll see if that goes. Um, yeah I'm, just, I'm, I'm losing stuff already. But, uh, there we go. All right. Uh, so you can see a bit, it had um, salsa rice they called it, black beans, uh, some chicken, habanero sauce like I said, let's have a look at the menu, that's what I've got it for, haven't I? Um, asado grilled chicken tenderloin, I don't know what asado is, uh, salsa rice, black beans, red kidney beans, jalapeno, tomato, Spanish onion, lettuce and jalapeno mayo on a flour tortilla. Um, yeah, I mean that's, that's, that's about it, let's uh, just see how it goes really. that. Not bad. Not bad. Habanero medium might have been the right call actually. Um, it's a nice kick. Nice kick. Um, I think some people would find that too spicy. Uh, people who really don't do chili at all. Um, yeah, habanero barbecue might have been a bit rough actually here in fairness. Um, yeah, no, the, the tortilla is quite nice, quite fresh. Um, the, the salsa um, rice gives it a real Mexican taste, which I quite enjoy. Um, I'm not sure if this place is Mexican or not. They 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 they're pretty um they just said South American in the ads inside the store, so I'm not actually sure where they're from exactly. I'm gonna have another bite of this. Hmm. Pretty good. Kind of reminds me of paella. Actually, paella. Sorry, I'm not gonna be a complete um culturally inappropriate um schmuck. Um, yeah, no, pretty, pretty good stuff actually. Yeah, you can see the fillings on the inside. Pretty nicely packed too. It's not they're not, they're not skimping out on fillings. Um, nice kick, nice flavour, nice tender chicken as well, which is really important. Sometimes you get really dry chicken in some wraps. It just puts you off completely. Um, yeah, oh, pretty solid effort. Um, let me put this down and give. Uh, I might have to hold it actually. Um, in an effort to not fucking lose half the ingredients over my table. Um, we'll go with the chips. I got the spicy chips, like I said. Uh, you can get regular spice, um, regular chips, sorry. Um, not the spicy chips because I wussed out on the um, habanero sauce and so now I've got to go spicy on the chips. Yeah, that's what I thought. Spicy chips are basically the Nando's Peri Peri chips if you ever had them. All in all, not a lot of spice. Nice flavouring though. Mmm, nice crispy one on that one. 
Uh, how do they stack up against Nando's chips? Um, pretty much exactly the same, really. Maybe these ones are a bit crispier, but that's always dependent on the batch, you know? Um, yeah, how does the wrap stack up against Nando's, though? Um, favorably, I think. Quite a bit better. Um, Nando's has always let us step down with his men menu selection, you know? It's pretty average stuff, and I find the chicken does get a bit dry there. Um, this has a nice, fresh taste to it, whereas Nando's is always just a bit meh. Yeah, no, this is new. They've got the interesting things. Um, they had some other interesting menu items as well. Um, and as it compared to Oporto, I still think I prefer the Oporto's fresh tastes, and, um, might need to do an Oporto review on this channel eventually, just so you know what the hell I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, for sixteen ninety, this isn't bad. Um, what would I give it out of ten? Um, I'd give it... It was a pretty solid, actually, meal. I'd probably give it eight chooks out of ten chicks. That's pretty solid. If they, what could they have done for a higher rating? A bit cheaper, really. Um, if there was a bit more value for money, it, it would just easily be a nine. Um, I'd just go high seven, low eight. High seven, low eight. That's what we'll go. Yeah, it could easily be helped up with just a little bit cheaper, you know? Drop a dollar off the price. Boom. Done. Simple. Um, as it is now, Perfectly acceptable, absolutely great. Oh, I wouldn't say absolutely great, just decent, good, you know? No, I'm not going to complain about this. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll um, clear up the Capriccio, Caprico, Capriccio, you know, you can read the sign, there you go. Capriccio, Capriccio, chicken. Um, yeah, once again, thank you for joining me. This is the Mexican, signing off.